Well, it's been a little bit since I posted my last video working on the car. And uh, I mean, it just turned into a lot of work, that's all. Doing the fenders and the hood and or like the other panels and stuff, it took a while to paint. I had a mishap where actually uh, one of the fenders fell off a sawhorse and was damaged and I had to fix it. But we are going to get everything assembled today. Well, between today and tomorrow anyway. Um, Everything is painted now. I did run out of paint and I had to get more paint mixed and the color doesn't match exactly, but it's close enough. So everything is painted and ready to go back on. Now I can tell you after doing this all, um, it might not necessarily be the best way to do it. I did save money by doing it myself. I also did not get a professional <laughs> finish to the job. Um, I still have to wet sand the car. I mean, you look down the side of the car, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there is some, some orange peel look to it. I don't know if the camera is actually gonna pick it up or not. But, uh, it, like I said, it's not perfect. I basically, in the end, I got what I paid for. Um, I saved a lot of money by doing it myself, but I didn't get a uh, top-notch finish. So I do have to put some more work wet sanding and stuff into the car. But uh, considering it's in color, I'm happy with it. And uh, if, you've ever, if you've never painted anything in your garage before, be prepared to have your floor look the color of whatever you painted. <laughs> Everything's red. And you can try all you want to keep everything clean. I had tarps covering everything. Everything has a layer of dust on it. Like, everything. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much you tarp it off. Dust gets into everything. So be prepared for that. A lot of cleaning to be done after. I'm gonna actually try and power wash this floor and see if I can get rid of all this overspray. But, uh. That's where we're at. Anyway, we're gonna get this thing put together because the weather's nice and I wanna rock this car.
she is all put back together. Got her out in the sun. I'm so pumped with how this turned out. After a very long winter of dealing with this thing, and I'm finally I'm done with it. Um, I am so pumped with how it turned out. I mean, I, I've just been sitting here for about 15 minutes just looking at it, and uh, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. I'm not going to point out all the flaws, but for painting in my garage and not being a professional by any means. I would say it turned out pretty good. Finally got the new trim in, which doesn't fit very well. Aftermarket stuff rarely fits, fits perfect. Got some new glass put in it because the other stuff was scratched up pretty good. And yeah, it's gonna still get, uh, I'm, I'm taking it in next week to get a wet sand onto it. That should improve it greatly. There is a little bit of orange peel in certain spots, but uh, yeah, I mean, I just, I just can't stop looking at it. 12 years of owning this car, and it's finally in paint. I did the grills. Um, this is the same color gray as the um, engine chassis, the rear deck lid that I built, right, the sub box. I did everything that color gray, the gauge cluster. I mean, I still got to finish the interior, but we'll get to that so yeah it uh, it turned out way nicer than I ever expected it to and the new lower valance it's the 68 style not the 69 which I had in the previous so now everything's proper and I can now rest a little easier and enjoy this thing because it is a lot of work and I want to enjoy my summer. I don't want to spend all summer in the garage and I got to be really careful right now on how I come back here because I'm taking a bit of a break before we start the next project, which I have sitting right behind the camera right now. <laughs> I don't want to show you yet, but uh, I have a very big build coming up this year. Um, I've already started collecting parts for it and it's going to be next level. This, uh, this, this next project, I'm looking at it right now. I'm not showing you, but I'm looking at it right now. Um, it's something I've wanted to do for a long time, but, uh, I mean, there's a certain point and I kind of got to it with this car where you've worked on something long enough and you just you hit a wall and you're like I'm done I'm not doing any more which is why I'm having somebody else wet sand the car I'm not gonna do it myself because it's a lot of work and we kind of skip past spring every year in Canada we go right from winter to summer and it's like it's 33 degrees are right now which uh, you know for you Americans that's you know 100 degrees <laughs> so I'm gonna take the rest of today and a few more days after to not do anything. Um, my garage floor is red. I'm gonna try and clean this shop out, try and power wash the floor, see if I can get rid of that. I got so much crap laying around, a lot of which is from doing this project that I just need to get cleaned up and out of here, get more organized, add more space. But hopefully like with this little video series of painting this car, it can be done. You can do it in a garage like this. You can do it yourself. Um, will it turn out perfect? No, mine didn't. But, you know, you get what you pay for. And I have a much huger, um, huger, larger respect um, for body guys because it was a ton of work. It's a ton of work to make it perfect. You gotta, you gotta sand, sand, sand. You gotta know what you're doing. Um, 
if I paid a body shop, yes, it would cost me more, but the end result would be a lot nicer. So much found respect for body guys. But, uh, you know, I didn't want to spend much money. I had the paint. I figured I'd try it myself. I tried it. It actually looks pretty good. But uh, as for now, I'm, uh, I'm done with that. You know, I, I might just sit here, open a beer and just look at it because it is very sexy. Whew. Damn. <laughs> but anyway, there it is. Um, big projects coming up. We're gonna do a little bit of garage prep. I'm gonna make a video on something I'm gonna be doing in my garage, which I've wanted to do for a long time. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. But other than that, that's it for today. I'm going to enjoy the, the nice weather. Maybe go play with the kids. Till next time.